Hello Project Sleep Begone 2 volunteers, my name is Maddie and in this video we'll walk through some tips and tricks on how to find insect eggs on plants. And our example plant today is a tree. When we're looking at a tree we want to check out the bark and the leaf for, leaves for insect eggs. And so to start we're going to start at the trunk of the tree right at the base. So we're going to scan from the bottom upward and if you can, kneeling down so you can get a nice up and close look at the bark. Going all the way around the whole bark of the tree at the trunk and then scanning upwards. Once we come up to the branches, we're also going to scan the bark on the branches of the tree, following them down, looking for any insect eggs. And then once we come to leaves, what we're going to do is check out the bottom of the leaf first. We can using the sunlight to help us out. When the sunlight shines through the leaves, we may see some shadows or discolorations if there's an insect egg on there. With low hanging branches, we can turn the leaves over to have a look at more than one leaf at once. And then once we're done checking out the bottom of the leaves, we can check out the top of the leaves as well too. So let's take a closer look. Oh look, here's an insect egg mess. So when we find an insect egg, we're going to take it off the plant and whatever plant material it's attached to. So with our insect egg mass on our leaf, we're going to pluck the leaf off. So with our egg mass and our leaf, we're going to place it in one of our two different size petri dishes. I'm going to place mine in the larger petri dish. And with our large petri dish, we want to close the top and the bottom with a rubber band. There's also a small size petri dish and the top and the bottom will snap closed. And once you have your egg mass in there, filling out the top layer label with all the information and also placing that information on your depth sheet. Okay, so so far we've learned how to search for insect eggs on bark and leaves. We've also learned once we found an insect egg on a leaf, how we remove that leaf and place it into one of our two size petri dishes. Now we're going to learn if we found an insect egg on bark, how we're going to remove that insect egg. And so today we found an overwintering Carolina mantis egg mass on bark. Okay, so we have two different tools here. We basically need something with a sharp edge and I have something more like a paint scraper and this is more used for mail and it has a razor blade at the edge. So we'll have to be really careful when using these tools, but these will be great to uh, remove the egg mass from the tree bark. And so we're gonna take a look at our mantis egg mass and we're also gonna want a Petri dish nearby uh, to place underneath our egg mass. I've lost a couple when I'm chipping them off They'll fall to the ground and if there's grass underneath we may lose it um, Amongst all those different colors and textures. So if you have a partner with you, you can also place have them hold the petri dish underneath So we're gonna take our scraper tool and we want to take a very thin layer of the bark So we're not harming our tree. So I'm gonna start from the top first And I like to go all the way around the edge Kind of making a little cut. And if the bark's a little peely, we can kind of peel a layer out of our way. And it may take us a couple tries, especially when we first do this the first couple times. And I think we have it right there. Awesome. And then we have our egg mass in our Petri dish. So we've also found an overwintering wheel bug egg mass. So when we're starting to collect eggs in March, we're going to be mainly searching for overwintering eggs, which will include our mantis and our wheel bug egg masses on bark. So going along with our mantis egg mass, we've also found this wheel bug egg mass. So to remove our wheel bug egg mass, it's gonna be with the same tool as our mantis egg mass. So we have our sharp edge tool here, and we're going to have our Petri dish right underneath, if we can hold it there or have our partner hold it there. And then we're just going to do the same method, and we're gonna carefully cut a thin layer of bark all the way around the edge. 
It's gonna be a little trickier with this one because our egg mass is split into two. And particularly with our wheel bug eggs, these guys are a little more delicate. So we wanna go around it and try not to squish the eggs too much. Taking your time. Got my Petri dish here and ready. Start to peel the bark away. And then we got our egg mass. Once you have felt you have sufficiently searched your plant for our woody plants, we've learned to look at the bark and the leaves, but we can also check out herbaceous plants for insect eggs as well. So once you feel like you've checked it out enough, you can move on to a different plant within the same location, known as a site on your data sheet, or you can move to a different site. With that, thank you for watching and happy egg hunting.